Hey guys, welcome to a new week. If this is your first week viewing, we're just a couple of vloggers that vlog each once a week and kind of let you know what's going on in our world. Okay, so over the past month or so, I've let my grass get really high. And that's fine with me. We've had a lot of different stuff to do between Caitlin getting sick, between Ashley working overtime, me working overtime, and a lot of the times one of us is gone and so the other one, so the other person's gonna have to watch Caitlin. We didn't have a lot of time as a family much less to take care of the lawn. But on Friday night, I actually had some time, so I decided to mow the lawn. Halfway through, Ashley finds a note on the door that basically says, hey, you guys are gonna get fined if you don't mow your lawn. Now, granted, it was long, I'll give you that. It was probably eight to 10 inches in some of the thicker areas with a couple of scragglers that are, I don't know, 12, 14 inches tall, you know, just random weeds or whatever. But I mean, come on, really? You're gonna find me for tall grass? That's kind of ridiculous. I can understand if the city of Mustang was just trying to make sure everything looks nice and everything like that, but here's an actual house in our neighborhood. That is a trailer with a carport built on top of it. I don't think they're really looking to make sure that this area looks that great. Also, are you gonna find all the neighbors that leave trash that blows into our yard? No, you're not. So let's be a little more realistic here. You don't need to find me because my grass is too tall. That's ridiculous. And apparently the 80 something year old lady across the street had the same thing happen to her, except she got fined. Way to go, Mustang. Okay, for the big news, unless you've been living under a rock, you should have known about the hurricane that came through recently. Hurricane Irene came in and just went right up the East Coast. Um, well, I guess if you're watching, it'd be this way. It's a mirror image. Now, apparently the death toll sits at about 14, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna rise. Seems like the floodwaters are still doing a lot of damage. Uh, and that seems to be what really did most of the damage for this. And that's a tragedy within itself. It's really sad. Worse off, some of those people died because of their own neglect for staying indoors. They decided to go out and just check out the storm or whatever, and because of that, now they're gone. But I have to say that I think that this storm was hyped up a little bit. Now, I'm not trying to say that it wasn't bad. It was. There was destruction. Both all the news coverage, that's really all that we heard about for a long time. And I'm out in Oklahoma. It was almost like they were hyping up this Armageddon version of Irene. And that's not what happened. Yeah, it was a bad storm. But parts of New York shut down for the first time ever. Like, ever. I don't know if that was really necessary. So the East Coast had an earthquake and a hurricane over the past week. That's more than anything that ever happens out here. Okay, so which natural disaster do you think is worse? Do you think it's the earthquakes, the hurricanes, or the tornadoes? Now it's kind of hard to say if you haven't been through all of them. And it's also kind of hard to vote on earthquake if you live on the East Coast because, you know, a lot of you guys are going to say, well, that was nothing. But an East Coast earthquake is not the same thing as a West Coast earthquake. The ones on the East Coast are a broader spectrum and it does a lot less impact. The ones on the West Coast are compressed a little more to a smaller area, but they do a lot more damage. So which one do you think is worse? A West Coast earthquake, a Midwest tornado, or an East Coast hurricane? And it may just be because I've actually been through the tornado seasons out here, but I would put my vote on the tornadoes. They just drop, no warning really. Travel down a mile or so, take up houses, roads, whatever. And if you're in the way, if you're not underground, that's it, goodbye. Also, Midwest tornadoes are not the same thing as the East Coast tornadoes. I found out yesterday that the tornadoes that spawn off of a hurricane are really an F0 to F1, which, I mean, that's like a windy day out here. Most of the tornadoes that hit out here are the threes and fours, sometimes fives, which is the, as high as you can get. But that's it for this week. I'm gonna try and get out of here. I uh, actually had to work all day yesterday, so really today is our weekend today. Uh, so I'm gonna see if we can do something fun. Yay. Also, I posted a new video, if you haven't seen it, Click the link and enjoy. All right, well, that's everything. See you guys later, bye.